what, who is the biggest victim of shaitan? In the Quran, you, a lot of bad people are mentioned. But after shaitan, who would you put at number two? Fir'aun. You would put Fir'aun at number two. And I want you to note something about Fir'aun. And actually, before you know something about Fir'aun, I want you to note something about this surah. I'll ask your, remind yourself once again, what three names of Allah did we find? Rabbin Nas, Malikin Nas, Ilahin Nas. I'll tell you three things Allah says about Fir'aun. One, فَقَالَ أَنَا رَبُّكُمُ الْأَعْلَى What did he say about himself? I am Rabb. The biggest waswasa of shaitan, what you're supposed to attribute to Allah, he attributed to himself, Rabb. Listen to another ayah from Fir'aun. أَلَيْسَ لِي مُلْكُ مِصْرَى Pertaining to Fir'aun rather. أَلَيْسَ لِي مُلْكُ مِصْرَى وَهَذِهِ الْأَنْهَارِ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِي Don't I own the kingdom of Misr? Don't these rivers flow beneath and only I am the king of Misr? What's he referring to himself as? Malik. That's what he's referring to himself. So he mentioned himself as Rabb, then he mentioned himself as Malik. What's left? Ilah. Let's see if he committed this crime too. He turns to his chiefs and he says, وَقَالَ فِرْعَوْنَ يَا أَيُّهَا الْمَلَأْ مَا عَلِمْتُ لَكُمْ مِنْ إِلَاهٍ غَيْرِ My generals, listen up. I don't know of any other ilah for you other than myself. For Fir'aun, we find himself declaring three things for himself. Rububiyyah, mulk, and uluhiyyah. All three for himself. Rabb malik ilah. We find th- th- this sampling that Allah has given us in the Qur'an is very important. It shouldn't be overlooked. And it's not just to, for you and I to say, oh, man, Fir'aun, la'anahullah, what a loser. But there's something here. That is what the waswasa of shaitan can lead to. What was the biggest problem of shaitan? Shaitan himself, what was his biggest problem? Arrogance. Arrogance. What is the biggest thing he can instill inside a human being? Arrogance. And what is the worst manifestation of arrogance? Fir'aun. But you don't have to reach Fir'aun to be worried that you're headed down the same road that leads to Fir'aun. Today we are not living in a time where people declare themselves gods over others. But we are living in times where people declare themselves gods over themselves. They declare themselves their own master. I am my own man. I am my own master. They declare themselves their own king. King of the house. King of my territory. King of my domain. They declare themselves their own ilah. Their own hawa, their own desires become their ilah. أَرَأَيْتَ مَنِ اتَّخَذَ إِلَاهَهُ هَوَاهُ did you see the one who takes his desires and turns them into his ilah, even? We're living in times where we can each turn into mini Fir'aun without even realizing it. We don't have to have large castles and fight with messengers and you know, be arrogant, outspoken against Allah Azza wa Jal. But that, that concept of ego that is crushed in the beginning of this surah by you openly saying, I need protection. I need Allah's protection. I'm coming into his obedience. There's a very powerful lesson in this. Very, very powerful lesson. Iblis himself recognizes the lordship of Allah, but wants the human being to forget it. He himself said, you are the one who created, khalaqtani. Even when he was disobeying Allah, he gave him credit. Khalaqtani min nar. You created me from fire. Even then he acknowledged tawheed himself. Even he himself. But he wants the human being to forget that tawheed. He wants the human being to become ungrateful. May Allah protect us from the waswasa of shaitan.